Hi there, and welcome to episode 18 of the tutorial sect. I'm Icon, and today we will rebirth somebody. I will do my best to guide you guys through the process of rebirthing, and we're going to see where this will lead us. So, the basic idea behind all this is that we got Zuruji being a really crappy fire cultivator, but Zuruji's chi sense is not too horrible, and I think she's good enough to put her up to better existence. So, the reason I come up with this idea is because we got a... we have the, the right season to do so. It's spring, and if we check out our cheat sheet here, we see that fire cultivators have their best time for golden core breakthroughs during the spring between day 9 and 13, which means we would have to wait a complete year again to bring Zuraji back to the opportunity to rebirth uh, or or do her golden core in the best uh, under the best seasonal circumstances and the seasonal buff does weigh a ton basically you should never try to do your golden core breakthroughs to any other, uh, in any other time because the bonus is that massive okay but th with that being said how does this all work? What we're going to do is we're going to rebirth Zuruji and we're going to reset her, which will make her mortal again. You have basically two big methods of doing this. The first one is just by swallowing a rebirth pill. So the rebirth pill will just rebirth you into, you, uh, into your mortal state. The thing is, we won't do it with the rebirth pill here. Why? Because the last line here in the description says it all. It can save one's life even on the brink of death. Rebirth pills are really awesome because when one of your cultivators comes back from an adventure where he got mortally wounded, because yeah, it, it really works like that. You can, you can be wounded during an adventure by which, which is mortal. Basically, they can chop off your head and then you come back home and die because of the chopped off head at your doorstep weird but that's how this game works basically the tldr behind that is these are resurrection pills if somebody is dead and you react quickly enough you can't get him back from the brink of death so i don't want to use this i want to introduce the way more repeatable way of rebirthing in this game and let's see if mizuji has the necessary inspiration i highly doubt it so every well, I think every every one of the base laws, but the Taiyi laws have the Reverie Rebirth Miracle. I don't know if all five of them have uh, got this, but it doesn't matter because, because we have this all transcribed. Quickly explained, this skill lets you eat a Soul Pearl and gives you the Rebirth, basically, instead of uh, swallowing the Rebirth pill. That makes sense. So you make you use the Ritual use up the soul pearl and you get a rebirth for that. The difference here is that with the reverie rebirth miracle, we will need a you can't do that when you are already downed or in lethal threat or whatever. So that's the main difference. Let's see if Ruji has enough experience or can gather up enough inspiration to do this so she will need 36k to do so oh my god this is really really sad you see i don't want to let her consume all the belief of this place here but the other agencies don't have the necessary necessary uh energy to fuel that skill Mm. So under these circumstances, I feel rather inclined to use the rebirth pill. So basically, I'm only doing this because of bad planning. I mean, there is a chance that we might be able to do this. But, well, let me think. These guys have enough inspiration, 14k. 
Okay, let's see. We have 14K here and 8K here, 22K. So probably we can do this without wasting our big source of inspiration. The thing is I want to keep the City of Abundance inspiration points for, for after her rebirth, but tell you what, I guess you all understood the ideas behind that. Let's do it like a newbie would do it. Let's just swallow that rebirth pill. I'm pretty sure that we could also do it with the Reverie rebirth, but in this scenario I don't want to. So Zuruji, she's back in her mortal state. And that means you lose all your gear, literally everything. You you start out with uh, no clothes at all again. <laughs> and you do the rebirth process. And now you're reborn. Congratulations, congratulations Suruji. She grabbed herself uh, a coat, but no pants, and goes to bed. Weird enough. So what we're going to do now is we're going to force the foundation process here on her because we don't want to wait that long. So we're going to feed her one Ganoderma and one Red Ginseng. I'm going to show you what that does. So I'm sorry if the first part was a wee bit... Um, complicated about all these uh, calculations there but I felt like this was the easiest way to do it without uh, being too complicated but to repeat it one more time always use Reverie re Rebirth if you can it's the way better uh, way to do it and Rebirth pills are really your emergency button don't do it like I did it here <laughs> okay so with that being said you see, her uh, foundation ain't built up yet, so we're going to let her eat some more. Her food bar ain't uh, filled yet, so we're going to feed her yet another portion of these two things. And there's one really good thing. These uh, medicines are not only helping you to build up your foundation like crazy, they also give you the same maximum chi bonus that they yield when you eat them as an inner disciple. So, like, uh, if you if this was a little bit too complicated, I was eating these thingies way before I, I did the golden core transformation process to increase the maximum chi. Right now, Zuruji doesn't have any chi, but eating that stuff now, or eating it when you're an inner disciple, does make no difference at all. She already gets this uh, max chi bonus at this point, even though she's no cultivator yet. So, but what does, what's way more important now is we actually already did it. She is capable of breaking through and going into her cultivation law again. I think I, uh, I had enough, I would have had enough time to uh, allocate inspiration at Mount South and do it with the Soul Pearl method, but... We're going to demonstrate that in another episode. It's not that important. Okay, what's important right now is that I'm going to send Zuruji over to the City of Abundance, but she needs some talisman to do so. Sadly, she was the person with the talismans before. Ah, uh, well. Dang. <laughs> Complications. And uh, that's why I always uh, think... You should have the talisman talents on, on one person in general, but ah, oh, luckily it seems like uh, Hellion has these skills too. I personally like to allocate the talisman crafting skills on literally crab cultivators later on. The basic talisman skills like Hellion has right now aren't uh, too complicated to craft. Okay, so Ruji will now equip that uh, spiritual traveling talisman. Oh, we already had one. Whatever. And with that in her equipment, she only needs a an artifact. As a fire cultivator, she ideally wants an earth artifact. So, what about these dragon poop thingies? Yeah. Mistress Poop Slinger. I mean, if, if I receive those for free, they aren't the worst. 
They are tier 5 artifacts, you know. Looks like crap, smells like crap, hits like a truck, compared to other things, though. So, let's see. Somebody tried to tell me to do... Ah, here. So, thank you guys so much for um, pointing this one out. That's one thing, one, one brilliant thing out of the comment section that I would just want to weave in. If you click the check mark this thing, the you pay close attention to the place and decrease the cost, but increase also the frequency of policy events. And uh, I got told that this is the best way of getting your uh, disaster uh, relief done, even without primordial spirit or higher ranking people. Thank you guys so much for that one. I was really baffled about how powerful things <laughs> can be when you know where to look for, where you have to look for okay so we're going to do the following thing i don't want to uh, put zuruji right now to do the travel what i want to do is i want to yeah I want to send her cultivating because with her uh, with her start right now, she will break through the core uh, through the T shaping phase in no time, which means she will travel way faster to the neighboring agency to pick up the inspiration. And right now, I want to allocate <coughs> a wee bit more inspiration on that uh, agency before I go there. So. Look at that! Our first real enemy! There's the first inner disciple, the first cultivator attacking us. So these are your your first real enemies. But luckily they might be real enemies. They're still getting destroyed by your dog. You know, the thing is, these are not really any enemies to your cultivators. But here's the big thing. These dudes, they not only bring you artifacts, which you can sell, but most importantly, unlike mortals, mortals just immediately die. These people, they go into dying state. You take these dying people, put them into your Hellgate or any other very ominous room, and let them die there, and you will receive a tasty and juicy soul uh, anguish soul gem out of that beautiful it, it's just uh it's just massive all right so suruji is now done with that part we're going to let her break through and the thing here is her mental state is a little bit low which is sad but we can do something here select an inner disciple and acknowledge them as master so we're going to um put Hellion into mentorship of uh, her here. So, Hellion in, is now bound for cultivation. And at this point, you you really have some work to do with the man micromanaging your cultivation. You can also just download, download the Elysium mod which is basically a manager a managerial tool to get these things done. It's up to you. I will introduce the Elysium mod in this series too because I feel like it's uh, it's worth it's worthwhile to show you guys a uh, a manager a managing tool to make these things a little bit more comfy. But right now, I just want to showcase at first how you do it manually, basically. Okay. So, meanwhile, we're waiting only for Ruji's mental state of mind to improve a wee bit. And I'm trying to get Halion into the primordial spirit stage as fast as possible. So, let's wait until she's at 300k, and then she can take a break. Ooh, there we go. So, Ruji is now busy for practice again. There we go. And you see, she's uh, she's doing that in a really, really, really uh, fast time. 
There's really no big issue there. Ooh, there we go. And if I remember correctly, this breakthrough is already all we need to have the uh, to enter the core shaping stage, which will basically enable her to travel so much faster. We are at day five. We have four more days until the um, time is ideal for breaking through in this stage. And here, the mentorship is something I totally forgot, and I want to go for another worthy mention here. Guys, you are really great with your comments. I'm learning myself so much out of this series. So when you have a mentor, the mentor will assist you during the breakthrough, and this assistance is not only increasing your mood it's also giving you extra success pips here. Thing is, this also works for the golden core stage and improves the result massively. Or so I've been told. We're going to try that out. Thanks for, for mentioning that. I had literally no clue. And uh, yeah, this gives you an impression about how friggin' deep this game is. Like, there's so much to learn, discover, and uh, use in this game that I really feel like it's worth your time. It might be hard to get into it, but it's definitely worth your time. So, here we go. Passerby is needing help. Um, I'm going to help you. Helping people is uh, only giving you some, some positive reputation bonus. My sect is slowly reaching the 500 uh, reputation, we, we d wouldn't really need it to take it that slowly. And I personally like to push to the 500 reputation faster, usually. I'm not playing a tutorial uh, playthrough. But um, you need to be able to, to fight off uh, outer, outer threats. Like... Uh, uh, other disciples but the thing is your dog is uh, the way of destroying everything up to uh, core shapers even some golden cores can still be smashed by the doggo so you don't need to worry too much about that but at the same time if you are not building up your fighting force while you're increasing your reputation you will get smacked at the point where you reach 2k reputation of the first primordial spirit people uh, are attacking you because that's the point where your dog can only tank them so and so long and you need to have a couple of uh, thousand points of artifact fighting power to just smack those duties otherwise you will get destroyed so reputation is not nearly as dangerous as it looks like but if you are increasing your reputation recklessly you might go you might stumble into problems in the in the longer course of action. What's really cool is it looks like Hellion is now really getting closer to the primordial spirit stage. We still have nine days of time until uh, the natural disaster is resolved, so I feel like we should have a good chance of succeeding with my plan here. Although I gotta say, I think I'm going to crunch down a cultivation pill again there. So Zuruji's back in town. I was waiting for that. First thing we do, we're going to let her uh, locate the necessary experience points here. So Lumina Core with Gnarled Vine. No friggin' way. Lumina Cores are valuable. Very, very, very valuable. Because of a weird reason, the developers thought it would be really, really funny that the um, Lumina cores are the only chi gathering, uh, or the lowest, lowest tiered chi gathering item of the metal element. I will explain to you on another occasion why that's horrible. Material items are worthless. Outrageous. This is really, really sad when that happens. Because this means all your all your fabrics that you have pre-crafted are worthless this season. But well, this is as it goes. Well, 
how much fabric did we, uh, we had none. Ah, oh, perfect. Or, wait, we do have some, I just uh, forgot to, to put it up for sale. But that's okay, we're, we're just going to sell a couple of these. And 410 uh, is not too bad. Holy, got bear gall. Too bad. Alright. Let's see. Oh, they got pills like intelligence and constitution. I want that wisdom one, but it's so costly. Alright. So, justice pill, not too interesting. Panacea pill. Panacea pills are, by the way, the uh, upgraded version of uh, the rebirth pill. So, you can't, you can't use them when you're already dying, but apart from that, they cure everything. There's a gnarled vine in there. Yeah, well, to do this like that. Here we go. That pill can be really invaluable during uh, breakthrough processes. Alright. Let's speed this up. And see what Hellion does in the same time. Oh, she's uh, going into a mental breakdown. So let's give her a break. So she does manage to do 35k per uh, meditation process, roughly. Alright. Ruji, it's day 6 for her. So we're on a good pace. We're on a good, good pace. Alright. Breakthrough, 70% chance, whatever. It's okay. Most of the time, the side effects of breakthroughs are only wounds, which can be cured easily. So, Hellion is now again helping Ruji during her breakthrough. Which is really good. Kunlun Competition. Oh yeah, we're going to go over there. Kunlun Competition is... One annual event which you always should go for. So, charity event in the riverbank plains. So, what do we have here? Two big men fighting each other. One planted a tree. Yeah, that's the social uh, solution. There we go. Okay, and looks like Ruji did it. Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to give her some off time. And let's see. We are really ahead in time. And the thing is, we're going to send. So we need to uh, make friends with the Kunlun people before we can send somebody to adventuring there. So it's going to be Halion because she's my most powerful cultivator. We're going to lose one day, but we are so ahead in time, it's no problem. Meanwhile, Ruji will uh, boost herself up. Charity in the Great Desert. So, a beggar is asking for money. Ideally, I think you should give him food. If I remember correctly, food was the proper solution for the beggar. But I can't... Charity! Man, charity, charity, charity. So, arguing over business issues. I have no clue. Let's take social again. There's uh, a couple of cheat sheets out there in the internet which I don't uh, use because I try because I'm an, I'm an idiot who tries to learn all these things. Don't be stupid like me. Look it up in the internet, or be as stupid like me and suffer with me. It's up to you. Uh, what I'm trying to say is I don't blame anybody if he's uh, using cheat sheets for these weird interactions. So, but we we chose correctly everywhere. We got in and we got ourselves followers. I really hate this mechanic out of a simple reason because if you choose poorly, you're uh, you're not going to receive any followers, and without followers, your agencies are pretty stinky, useless. You know, and this is kind of annoying. Oh, we yeah, are you cultivating again, Rishi? Holy crap! Sometimes your, uh, your, your cultivators have a mental dysfunction for a moment and forget that they have a cultivation spot. 
and then they start cultivating somewhere like in bedrooms or uh, something similarly inappropriate. So Kunlun competition. The thing is, I have no clue what's the best uh, fit for her. So we're going to go for the sword duel. The thing is, every one of these gives you access to here. Purity Immortal Law. Myriad Artifact Law. And Primordial Alchemy Law. And, uh, well, I know that her strongest suit is the uh, Artifact crafting so let's try that i know that's the, that's uh, what hellion does best so uh she didn't uh, get the law the thing is you can receive a uh, a a entire advanced law in there which is freaking massive but well just like i expected we weren't lucky that's okay Alrighty. So meanwhile, I think we should give Zuruji a little bit of a break. So decided to deal with the Earthquake. We're definitely going to give them stones. Because that's what we triggered with the uh, with the watch uh, command there. So, well, Hellion is in a bad mood. She just lost a competition. Six more days. And slowly you might notice that this game turns into a, uh, into a time management game. And this grows more and more complicated the larger your sect grows, of course. Alright. But luckily, Zuruji is going to be going to be there soon. Okay, wonderful timing. Okay, now she is, if I remember it correctly, this is the, yeah, this is the golden core stage. So we're going to pimp our cultivator at this point. So gobble down your earth floods. I think she already had a couple of red ginseng ganodermas. So one, two, three. Let's uh, leave the Ganoderma at this because I have not too many of them and I'm too lazy to gather news, new ones of those. The thing is, the first two dosages of these are the most powerful. After that, the diminishing returns get so massive that I know people that just gobble down ten of each before they do the breakthrough. I personally think that two of them are enough. Even one of them is better than nothing. But at least one of them should be the should be mandatory for you. If that's uh... all right. Now let's teach some skills to our mentee. We need all the chi gathering skills we can get. So increase of perception sounds pretty good too. Stat increasers are also really good. So we try to increase the maximum chi wherever we can. So, Constitution bonus, that's also very desirable. I think, well, I'm actually going to do the artifact thingy as well. So, Spirit Ravel, uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's wait for, let's save it for the really important things. So, I'm going to take this too, even though it's counteractive, because it increases her mental state and intelligence, which is freaking powerful. You know, everything which increases your base stats is very valuable. Oh, I, uh... Wait a sec. What did I select which was not allowed yet? Oh, boy. So, I really have a hard time understanding what was going wrong here. So we have to uncheck these things. So probably it's because the uh, amount of inspiration is not sufficient. I, I think it's about that. All right, let's see. We're being attacked again. All right, wonderful. Actually, I'm super happy that we're being attacked by uh, real cultivators now. Because at this point, we do have... 
way better rewards. Oh, the uh, dragon clip. This, this is something we need to do soon, too. So there we go. As you might notice, it, it all takes a lot longer now. But that's because we uh, we can't uh, we didn't uh, bring up a cultivator into this. So our enemies are both dying. So I do a double click here. Uh, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, let's move the dog over there. And here we go. So here the game behaves a wee bit odd. So when you have these selected, you can move, but you need to hold down the left shift button and click twice to uh, give a movement command for both bodies. Don't ask me why. So we now used up all the inspiration, I thought, but actually it doesn't seem like we did. So, ah, that's because Hellion went to bed instead of uh, teaching. All right, but now she still has a ton of uh, inspiration left, so let's see. So, ah, now I understand. I own, you can only teach 10 at once, and that's why it, uh, it kept, it, it did, uh, it did have some problems there. Okay, wonderful. Good stuff. Now, let's see. We have five more days here, and it's day nine for the breakthrough. Okay, Zuruji is at 5.6k maximum chi. After she learned a lot of things, so let's see. If there's anything, I mean, there shouldn't be anything left, but let's, uh, let's see here. Why the heck is this not? Did your, uh, teacher go to bed again? My god. So, let's see. There, there is something off here. Or uh, she doesn't have too many of these skills, so yeah, we actually forgot these two. Alright. Now this looks more like what I expected to see. So let's see if there's anything, including Chi, which we uh, didn't catch here. So, spell power bonus, well, we could take that since it's a fire cultivator, but let's see if there's anything. Breakthrough incantation, that's one thing that I wanted to learn, but yeah, that's, uh, that's all she can learn here. Okay, now, there we go. So we are at day nine. I'm going to do the actual breakthrough um, pro procedure in the next episode because I feel like we don't have the necessary time left here. And I also want to, to focus on that a little bit uh, more thoroughly. It's day nine, we still have four days to do this, so there's no need to sweat it. And uh, the most important thing you guys know now how the whole rebirth uh, thingy works. I mean, sadly, I couldn't show you how much of a difference it is already to have Ruji at this, uh, with these preparations, but next episode we will show that off. And I'll show you that she will definitely do something better on a tier 7 golden core. Thank you guys yet again so much for watching and all your uh, wonderful help there. Like I mentioned it several times before, you are really, really awesome and I'm learning so much with this series, I like that. So drop your comments down, down below, keep going, I appreciate. Leave a thumbs up on that video if you want to make it more visible for everybody else. And last but not least, of course, check out the channel. Daily videos pop coming up there. 
subscribe, turn on the bell, and make me a very happy content creator. Either way, thank you so much for your time and attention, and see you guys next time. Goodbye!